The Anytone ATD 578 UV3 Plus mobile radio has finally arrived. There's just one problem. How do you get started using one? Today, we'll be showing you how to start using your new 578 Plus mobile from the moment it leaves the box to the making of your first QSO. Let's get to it. So let's get into the unboxing. Uh, so here we have the brand new uh, 578 UV3 Plus radio. Uh, so we can see the box here, a cool new blue design, really neat. Uh, these radios are looking good. So let's go ahead and open it up. So open it up here real quick. And the first thing we will be greeted with is access to Bridgecom University. Uh, so this is going to go through all of the training that you need to fully understand and use this radio to walk you through installing the CPS, uh, writing your first code plug, uh, you know, importing talk groups and contact lists. Everything you need to know is in there along with uh, a variety of other videos. Great value and that's included for free with this. This is your access for it. And then user manual. Uh, you may not need that with the Bridgecom University, but it's good to have. Then beyond that, we have the mounting bracket. Uh, so this will allow you to mount the radio to your vehicle. And then here we go. Here's the new radio itself. Check this out. How cool is this? Uh, so on the front, this is the main differentiating factor. Uh, physically, you can see it has a little ring around the bezel. Uh, looks really good. So there we go. That is neat. I'm excited to use this. Put that aside here. Then over on this side, uh, we have the power cable. Um, so this is going to plug into the radio itself and then you can connect this to your vehicle or to a power supply. Then we have some mounting hardware here. This will be for the bracket. Looks like some spare fuses, everything you'll need for it, along with uh, the hardware to mount the speaker mic. Perfect. And then here, this is an interesting cable. I uh, get a lot of questions about what this is. Uh, simply a charging cable, USB charging cable for your Bluetooth push to talk button as well as the optional Q8 Bluetooth earpiece. Uh, so you can charge both of them at once. Uh, certainly don't have to, but that's what that is for. And then the Bluetooth push to talk button itself. Uh, these are really neat, especially for mobile radios, because you can have it strapped to your steering wheel and talk completely hands-free going down the road uh, with this little strap here. It works really well in conjunction with the mobile. And then finally, we have the programming cable. Uh, now these are neat because it's just a, a micro USB cable. Uh, so you can simply use pretty much any micro USB cable for it if you were to ever lose this one. So perfect, let's take a look on the other side. So here we have the GPS antenna. Uh, now this radio does actually come with its GPS antenna. Uh, so this is an external antenna so you can get better reception. You can mount this a uh, variety of places, typically high up in your vehicle. It's gonna give you the best results. And then that simply just screws into the back of your radio. And then here is the microphone. Uh, let me take it out of the bag here real quick for you. Perfect, here we go. So check that out. Uh, this is a really neat microphone because it has a lot of customization. You can customize all these buttons for different things uh, and really control pretty much the whole radio through here. Really neat. So. Let's see, do we have anything? That is it. So the main advantage of this new Plus radio, uh, there's actually a lot of features packed into this. Uh, so you are going to get a much larger digital contact list capacity. It's going from 200,000 digital contacts to 500,000 digital contacts. And that makes a big difference because the actual list out there uh, is approaching 200,000. It's in the 190s, I think 194, somewhere around there. Uh, so soon it's gonna overtake that and you won't be able to fit that list in your radio anymore. So you definitely want to get a radio that's going to last you a long time. And then also this radio has an airband receive now, uh, which is really neat, especially if any of you guys uh, who are you know, pilots yourself or interested in listening to the, the airband. Uh, it's a really neat feature of this radio and it will do that now. Uh, not to mention that it also has APRS location data received. Uh, so you can receive that APRS location and not just transmit it like the previous radio would do. Uh, so you can both receive and transmit location information with this radio now. So let's go ahead and turn on and set up the radio real quick. Uh, so first thing we want to do is connect our antenna. Uh, so simply plug your antenna into the back of the radio. And now we do offer a tri-band antenna, uh, which works great with this radio, either for you know base station or mobile use. There we go, perfect. So we got that plugged in. Now we will need to connect power as well. Now you're either going to need a vehicle or a power supply if you're using this at your house. 
now if you don't have a power supply, the Duracom LPX18, uh, you can find it on our website or uh, give us a call and we'll get you set up with that. It works great with this radio. So I'm gonna plug that in real quick. Perfect. Uh, and now we just need our microphone. So simply take your microphone here and plug it into the front of the radio. Make sure you get it plugged in all the way. Now at this point, we can hit the power button. There we go, check that out. How cool is that? We can see it's booting up here. Booting, please wait. Any tone? There we go, perfect. So it is turned on. Uh, now at this point, you can enter in your frequencies with the VFO, or you can plug it into your computer and start programming it. If you have questions about programming it, uh, we do have a video that will walk you through step-by-step step on how to do that. So there you have it. At the end of the day, with this radio, you're going to be making QSOs around the world and meeting new friends on DMR. And with BridgeCom University there to guide you through every step of the process, you are going to have success right out of the box. We hope this video helped give you an idea of what to expect when you receive your very own 578 UV3 Plus mobile. To learn more about this powerful mobile radio, watch our next video that covers the top five most frequently asked questions about the 578 mobile. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG73.